Hello gamers, Softkitty99 on the Battle for Azeroth Beta. I'm in Stormsong Valley and we have moved from the camp over here all the way down to here for worse than it looks, which we picked up at the end of the last episode. And the quest asked us to speak to Felicia Gladstone at Beacon Hill. So we're here at Beacon Hill and here is Felicia Gladstone. Patrick's a good person. If he trusts you, your help is welcome. Having a blast. We're going to really hit them where it hurts. They're carting tons of black powder right out of that mine. This could end very badly for all of us if we don't do something. The mines are relatively undefended. I bet you can get in and wipe out their workers before they realise what's happening. Keep an eye out for some explosives. If we can use their own tools against them, even better. Acquire a bundle of dynamite and use it to kill 16 warfang miners and 4 mine technicians. Ooh, go blow them up. Grizzled. I saw a particularly ugly and quite agitated goblin barking orders at the rest of the miners. I'm willing to bet he's crucial to their entire operation. If you can get into the mine and eliminate him, hopefully it will throw things into disarray. Kill Chief Engineer Grizz. Looks like we're heading into the mine, boys and girls. And there is a scroll on the fence here. Wanted War Gore. By the decree of the storm's wake, scouts have reported that forsaken scientists have created a monster, sewn together from the bodies of our own fallen soldiers. Ick! Ew! This monstrosity is called Wargore. The individual that destroys this abomination will earn a fitting reward. Find and kill Wargore. Suggested players three. Right then, so the mine would appear to be in this direction. So I think we want to head up this hill here and see what we can find. Cannons again by the side of the road. Abandoned wagons. So there's definitely been some form of fighting going on here. The clear cut. Oh, there's a rare spawn up here. Should we have a look? Oh, can we? Whirlwind. It's a hippogriff. Oh, a little bit laggy. Oops, oof. got thrown up in the air. That was strange. So it's got one of those tornado attacks, I presume, which uh, throws you up in the air if you get hit by the wind. I didn't actually see the wind, though. Oh, there was the wind that time I saw it. It was a little bit above my head rather than around me it seemed to kind of float above my head which is probably why I didn't notice it the first time. Right, can we move out of it? Yes you can move out of it so do keep your eye out for it and this time it actually touched ground so we saw it that time. Oh what did we get? We got a trinket, will wings plumage and we got an azurite splinter which gave us 20 artifact power and we got will wings plumage which is a trinket which you can wear at item level. Uh, yeah, we can wear it at 112, so we can wear that one. It gives us critical strike and increases the primary stat when used for 20 seconds. Yep, no, we didn't have any particular problems with that. I think that's okay. And let's pop the trinket on. Yep, that's a, quite a nice little buff. That was interesting. Good little fight, that one. Right, so this is the mine where we want to go, by the looks of it. Let's jump on our mount again. And oh, there's something that we want right there. Look, oh, it's a bundle of dynamite. Yes, he wants us to blow people up with their own dynamite, doesn't he? Right. Yeah, so, hmm. Toss a stick of dynamite. Okay, that didn't work quite as well, so let's try that again. Hmm, do we, do we literally have to kill them with the dynamite or can we just uh, kill them? 
the dynamite does do damage to them, but it... Uh, no, I think we actually have to kill them with the dynamite, because that one didn't count. Oh, that one didn't count either. Yes, it does say use it to kill them. But I just killed those two guys and it didn't count. Are they not the right people? They're maybe not the right people. Let's look at the names. So we're looking for miners and technicians. Well, that guy's a miner, so let's... Oh, look, it's put it in the bottom of my screen. That's good. I was looking for it by the quest. It's actually in the bottom of your screen down here. So that's a better place for it to be, actually. You have to hit them at least three times, I think, with the actual dynamite. And since they move so much, it's quite hard to actually hit them right. Yeah, so that does work. You just have to make sure you've got the right people. I think there's a quest inside the mine. So he's going to see. By, by the time I've thrown it, he's moved out of the area of where the, where the dynamite's going to land. So you've got to predict where he's going to be rather than where he is when you throw it. Yeah, see that? Mm, yeah, okay. Slightly laggy again. But of course, I'm in Europe and the server's in America, so you've got to expect a little bit of a... Ooh, Wargore is over that direction, shall we? Let's go, let's go into the mine and uh, sort the miners out first and see what this other quest is, which I think is inside the mine. Let's do that first. Ah! Them flying around like that, it's kind of funny. You've got to be a little bit patient, though, with uh, fighting these guys with the dynamite because it's actually quite a slow progress because you've got to plan where you're going to throw it and wait for them to be sort of in the right area and plan where they're going to be when you throw it, if you see what I mean. So it requires a little bit of uh, thought and uh, you can't just charge in and kill everything. You've got to think about what you're doing because of the way that it's been set up. As they, they, when they get thrown, look, they kind of get a semi-stun thing, but it doesn't. The semi-stun doesn't last long enough for you to aim and throw the dynamite. You have to wait for them to lose the stun and run back at you in order to throw the dynamite to hit them. Hope that explanation was better than the first one. <laughs> right, so here's the quest. It's Holger Nash is a human from uh, the new human model. Get out of here. I can't believe you're here. Please, we need help. They've been forcing us to mine non-stop. The weakest among us have been steadily dropping. At this rate, we'll all be dead soon. The chains are weak. You may be able to pry the locks apart. I'll keep lookout until the others are free. Don't worry about me. Free six captured miners. Keep the wind in your sails. That guy went round behind me instead of in front of me, see, so my prediction didn't quite work for where to hit him. <laughs> ah, yes, the dynamite. We wanted the... Uh... Alright, so how are we supposed to do this? Are we supposed to bomb it? Or are we supposed to hit it? Right, let's try freeing these miners. That's one free. I'm not quite sure what we're supposed to do with this powder. It looks like we ought to be able to click on it, but if I hit it, it doesn't do anything. If I blow it up, it just disappears, so... Okay, let's just free our mines. Oh, no, that one's inside the minecart. <laughs> you can't hide inside the minecart. 
technician. Yes, we need to blow these guys up. Where is it? Which way did he go? Oh no, that was a spider that went that way. That's one of the uh, technicians that we needed. We need four, I think, don't we? Uh, They just said collateral damage approved. Burn, maybe. Oh dear, that's a bad line, mate. The mine sweeper. One of the goblin flamethrowers. Unfortunately, the tank has been cracked. It would be a good idea to bring it back to Felicia. She may have something to fix it up. Deliver the cracked mine sweeper to Felicia Gladstone just outside the Chillstone mine. Okay, we can do that. Let's get some more of these miners out of here. Uh, for the horde and for profit, he said. Uh, that's I a goblin for you, mate. Profit. Right, so we have five miners, so we just want one more miner. And we need two more mine technicians to be bounced around. <laughs> bounce! 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 <laughs> oh, he's going to take too long to come around. Ah, and he didn't die. I thought that one would get him. This one should get him. Right, so we need one more of those guys. There's one more here. Oh, it's a girl this time. And you can kill the spiders with the dynamite too. And then there's a couple more miners up here, which we can then free. They bounced me. That's the last miner that we need, I think. Let's get this excavator, we still need this guy. And there's a dot over here, which is that, this chief engineer Grizz, which we need to find him as well. Is that so back, or is that back the way we just came? Oh, a little bit of lag there, he bounced after I expected him to bounce, so uh, I missed my... Yes, there's quite a few excavators here, so that might be a good thing to... a good way to go. Yes, because there's quite a few miners and excavators here, which I think will all count towards the... Yeah, so if we hit, hit the ore with the explosives while the guys are next to them, it actually creates a bigger explosion. So that's what the powder's for, because it, it improves the explosion, so you don't have to hit them as much. So that's quite a good thing to know. I just got bounced into some more. There's quite a few of them inside this mine, so it's, it's not going to be that hard for you to find them. Right, so if we head back the way we came, I think that's the way we need to go to finish off the quests. That's a nice little fun quest, this coming in here and doing all of this. Let's just finish that guy off. We don't need to kill him with the dynamite anymore. And yeah, I think the guy will. Ah, oh, there he is, looking up on top of this little ridge here. There we go. And he's in a. Oh, look, he's in one of those little tank things. Look. I like it. 
Oh, I bounced him off with the dynamite. Maybe using the dynamite is not such a good idea. It just bounces him away. It does stun him though, so mm, not sure. Ah! Yeah, maybe not bouncing him so much. It does stun him though, so if, if you're on a class where you're having a little bit of trouble and you want a, a minute to try and get your health back or something, using the dynamite will actually give you that reprieve for a minute as it's done. Well, not for a minute, but a few seconds, so you can maybe take a health potion or something and something bandage else. yourself up or whatever. They do remember though that the, t um, the first aid profession is actually disappearing. You can still use bandages, but they're all made by tailors. So if you want any of those profession achievements for your first aid, you need to get those done before Battle for Azeroth launches, because the first aid profession will be disappearing at that point. And any of the achievements will be added to the Feats of Strength tab, so you won't be able to get them anymore. a little bit. I've got too many of these guys here. I've I got too many of them. I must get closer. Oh, you stop bouncing me, guys. I found the bouncing to be quite annoying. I think we're going to be okay though. I think we're on the last one. Yes, we've just about made that. If I'd have been on my mage at that point, of course, I'd be dead by Oi. now, but we made it. Thank you for rescuing us. We've been trapped in here until we all slowly perished. Smooth sailing. Yeah, glad I could help you. Get out of there now, mate. Go on. That's it. Run. And now I think it's time to get ourselves out of here. Which will just leave us with one quest here, I think, to get the war goal, which is the three person quest. Hello, Felicia, what are you doing here, dear? They won't stand a chance. Shh, with all those explosions, I expect there's no one left alive in that mine. You might be surprised, dear. Hopefully his death throws a wrench into their operations. Right, what we can I have? We can have some boots or we can have some gloves. I think the gloves are going to be a bigger upgrade. The mine sweeper. A flamethrower. This could be quite useful. But why couldn't you find one in better shape? Because that's the one I found, dear. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm Kitty 99 Goodbye and happy gaming!